28 seconds ago, Judy came to me and said, hey, how about, again, Antoinette and Aunt Phyllis and Uncle Carl, what a job you guys did. Yeah. Yeah. But equally as important, <clears throat> those people that are here with us, help me out, from the Vacek family. And Lorraine? And Lorraine? Call them basic. And Teeny. Uncle Uncle Andy. Uncle Johnny, my grandpa. Grandpa Johnny. Uncle Uncle Rudy. Uncle Rudy. Uncle Joe. No. I'm missing two. Uncle Eddie. And Dorothy. And Dorothy. Thank you. Uncle Eddie. Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck and Uncle Eddie. And Helen, my grandma. Right. A very special person to me and my siblings, my grandma, my mom, Mary Agnes. Without without them, we're not here. You wouldn't be. I'm not here. Let's just remember them and not forget. Alright? I didn't hear it said it's one thing. Well, he's bringing this up. There's one person, he's not here. Is Judy's and Phil's dad. Because without him, I probably wouldn't be here today. <laughs> what did he say? He and that's the most important thing because I had a bad, I had an accident. He was over here visiting his mother. He jumped the fence like a stunt man. I'll never forget that as long as I live. It had to be a four foot high fence. He jumped it. He picked me up in his arms, ran me across to the guy, Mr. Lear, and they rushed me to Allegheny General Hospital. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be making a speech. So I want to give an extra <laughs> problem.